we all know whether it's raining or sun shining, we have to get to Dollar Tree and get what we need for our crafts. We all know that during this season, there are tons of beautiful crafting items you can use to create crafts as well as home decor. These seashell bundles can be found at Dollar Tree year round. They are always in my local Dollar Tree. And today we are making some beautiful decor with them. Look how gorgeous some of these are. Different colors, different shades and shapes. This cutting board I found recently at the thrift store and I love that it is solid wood and that the words are not engraved but actually just painted on. So I'm just gonna sand it down just a little bit to smooth it out and remove any grime, wipe it well, and then I'm just gonna paint it a pretty heavy, kind of like dry brush technique. I want the edges to still show that nice wooden tone. I'm not gonna paint the sides nor the back. While that dries, I'm gonna take this beautiful wreath from Target Dollar Spot, they're $3 each, as well as this decorative starfish that I found in a bundle and it came three in a pack. I am also going to be hot gluing it right on to the wreath form. Now, this is key because the wreath form is so thin, you just wanna apply glue right where that starfish is going to touch and then just hold it for a few seconds until it hardens. Just takes a few seconds, but it will work, I promise. Then I'm just gonna add some seashells here and there, doing the same thing, just placing it where I want, kind of looking to see where it touches the wreath, adding hot glue and then holding it for a few seconds. I decided to add some of these smaller ones just to fill in some of the gaps and just add more character. We're gonna put everything together now. This is the cutting board. It is nice and painted. I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit with my 120 grit sandpaper. And then with a rougher one, I'm just gonna clean up those edges. Then let's place the wreath. We're just gonna place it right around the neck of the cutting board. I am going to manipulate it just a little bit to make sure that it's hanging in place exactly where I want it to be. I don't wanna make it narrow or anything. I just wanna make sure it hangs nicely. And I'm just gonna then place the branches where I want them. This is my favorite from today. I love the way it turned out. So beachy, almost like a relaxed look. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree jar. You can find these all year round at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take this piece of craft paper. This became out of a bundle that I get at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. And I'm just gonna roll it up. It has a nice scripted theme to it. So it looks perfect for a message in a bottle theme. I rolled it up, but it didn't quite fit. So now I grabbed a very thin dowel and I'm gonna use that as my guide, roll it in and making sure that it fits. I remove the dowel and then I'm just gonna add some double-sided tape to make sure that it stays put. Then I'm just gonna place it inside the bottle. Now it does overlap quite a bit. So I'm just gonna keep cutting as needed until I find the right size. I want it to fit nice and loose in the inside. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I always have those links down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out when you are done watching. All right, so now that the script roll actually fits in, we closed the jar and now we're gonna make this loop on this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna hot glue it together, and then I'm gonna take another piece of the same nautical rope and just roll it around underneath the loop. I want us to have a very nautical, beachy look, so I thought this looks like something that would be in a fishing boat. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna wrap it around the neck of the bottle, make a very simple bow, and then make sure that I just cut off the excess rope. Now I wanted to add some seashells right around that knot area. So I'm just gonna add here and there what I think will look nice. And I'm gonna add a tiny little one right above the knot from the loop. I think that looks so cute. I'm gonna take some of these greenery that I really love the way they look. I'm just going to grab a few little branches and hot glue them here and there so that it just adds some color character and it just looks like it's been at the bottom of the ocean for many, many years. What do you think? I love it. It's such an easy craft anyone can do. You could totally do this very inexpensively.
For the next DIY craft from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna take this jar, I'm gonna remove the inside. This is the kind of jar that you would use for like canning. I am going to paint the little top portion because the gold does not go with the theme today or the look that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats and then let it dry. I thought it wouldn't stick well to the metal, but it did. I was pleasantly surprised. These little white rocks you can find at Dollar Tree year round as well. Such a fun item to have and craft with. I'm gonna fill the jar. You can fill it to as high as you want. I wanted it to be about a third filled. I'm gonna also bring these seashells that are also from Dollar Tree. These are all white. They have a beautiful bright tone to them. And I'm just gonna start hot gluing them to the rim, making sure they overlap each other. I was so surprised at how well it really stuck on there. All right, these little candles are also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to place one inside as a fresh linen scent to them. So pretty and so wonderful. I'm going to add a few extra little rocks right on the edge between the glass and the candle to just make sure it looks seamless and nicely professional. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of color to this jar. So I have this beautiful burlap ribbon that I recently found. I'm gonna just grab a piece that would fit right around at the bottom of the jar. Then I am going to fold it in half. I don't want it to be too thick where it's covering the stones. So I'm just going to fold it in half and just hot glue it around the bottom base of the jar. I know that you love watching video tutorials, but if you love reading and crafting blogs, I have a blog which I post every single week and I'd love for you to check it out. It is linked down below in the description box. So when you're done watching, check it out. I feel like something was missing, so I'm just going to add some of this white jute string that I have on hand. I'm going to wrap it around twice, right in the center of that ribbon. Then I'm just going to make a simple knot right in the front. You don't have to make a knot, you can make a bow if you want, but I'm just going to add a knot because we are going to be covering it. Now these little leafy greens I do get on Amazon, I'm just going to grab a couple of them. I think it has like a seaweed kind of look. I'm just going to hot glue it to where the knot is. And then we're going to cover everything up by adding one more seashell right in the front. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds, making sure that it's held. And look how stunning this looks. Oh, it's so bright, so beautiful. The next DIY craft from Dollar Tree, I'm going to take these shower rings from Dollar Tree. Now, this is a project I did a couple of years back. But I'm going to show you again how I made these rings because then we're going to put everything together using seashells. I'm going to take two rings and I'm going to hot glue them together making sure that each end aligns with each other. A little bit of hot glue goes a long way. It sticks really well and these are very light so it worked really well. I'm going to do the same thing to the other making sure that I have a set of four. I'm not going to bring in some nautical rope. This is the white kind from Dollar Tree. And at first I thought I can just wrap it around with the same thickness that it has, but that didn't work. So I'm just going to separate the strands and I'm just going to take one of the strands, which is a lot thinner. Once I have it unthreaded, I'm just going to wrap around each ring with it, making sure that I start and finish right where that thicker portion where it ends on the rings. Friends, I would love for you to visit my Amazon store, which is always linked down below in the description box. I always have my favorite items from Amazon right in one place. So if I ever say that I got anything on Amazon, chances are it is there. So check it out when you are done watching. All right, so now that we have the first one here nicely wrapped, I'm just gonna overlap here and there where I need it. You can see some of the gaps right through the rope. So I'm just gonna go back around and just add as needed. And then I did the same thing to the other three rings so that I have a full set of four. Now that's because I have four people in my family here, but if you have more, you can certainly make more rings as needed. We are now gonna add some of this greenery once again. I'm just gonna pull a few of the strands and then I'm just gonna hot glue it to the front of each ring. Nothing major, just a little bit of hot glue goes a long way. It really sticks to the strands of this rope really well. And then I'm just gonna add one seashell. I grab four of them that really look similar and I'm gonna place it right in the center, making sure that I'm holding it for a few seconds so it sticks.
All right, I got these linen napkins at Amazon and I love them. They're very soft and they have a great size. I grabbed the pack of four, but they do have more and I do have these in my Amazon store. I'm gonna thread each one of the napkins right through the ring, making sure that that nice shell are facing the way they should. And then I'm just gonna place it in a place setting and look how beautiful this looks. I love how toned down it is. I love how fresh it looks. And it's such a beautiful decor for summer. I would love to know which one is your favorite today. I would have to say the cutting board is mine, but let me know in the comments. And I have another video here for you to watch. Make sure you click on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.